Excuse me, little dog. Hi, right, guys. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna. It's a lovely Sunday night here in the end times. It is Sunday, January 14th, 2024. I guess we have two more days before old man winter kicks in. So while we're waiting for Florida to go under six feet of ice, uh, we're going to talk about fear strangled sheeple and no this is not a rant about corona panic although of course it could be but uh, I, I just want to talk about these fucking well they're they're, they're like just a close cousin of clueless fucking morons I, I'm talking about people who live their entire fucking lives in, in, in absolute fear. I, I mean, fear of everything. And uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm on Facebook Marketplace uh, looking around. You know, I'm still, I'm, I'm really closing up on, uh, on you know, furnishing doomsday trailer here still need a double bed so i get up this morning and i go on the free page and look for a double bed here right here free must pick up smoke free and pet free home will send you my address I will analyze your Facebook profile prior to sending a pickup address I understand most rules are first come first serve but my family's safety is more important than your fucking free bed if you think you're gonna come here uh, acting like you want a free bed and you're gonna murder my family. You're gonna come in here and you're gonna murder my family. You're gonna rape my dog. <coughs> you're gonna murder my family. So uh, I passed that one up. So then I get to a, another free bed and I knew I, sh I was in trouble right off when the seller's name is Maggie. <laughs> so Maggie is giving away a free double bed. And I, and I said, okay, have mine. You don't have a good track record uh, with batshit crazy women named Maggie. Uh, a, a cat does not jump on a hot stove twice. Uh, when you see the word Maggie, uh, you need to run like hell. But I said, you know, it's just a coincidence that the the woman trying to get rid of some old bed uh, happens to uh, have the same name as the woman that I love. So I said, okay, we're going to give Maggie a chance. So, let me follow, here is, uh, okay, so Maggie is giving away her bed, and I email her, I message her on Facebook, I can come pick this up right now, or at 6 p.m., let me know if you still have it, and Maggie, she responds right back, I do still have it, would you be able to meet at the Lakanto Walmart. So she wants to meet me at a Walmart parking lot. And I'm thinking, meet her at a Walmart parking lot? Now what, does she have the fucking bed in the back of our her truck or what? And uh, so I, I, I messaged Maggie back. 
that works for me. I am about 30 minutes from there, and then I sent her my phone number. However, I am closer to Hernando than Lacanto. And so then she uh, messages me back, well, would the Inverness Walmart be closer for you? So now she's getting me uh, farther and farther. See, the Lacanto Walmart is the Walmart halfway between Inverness and uh, Danella. And she advertised that she lived in fucking Hernando. Now, now she's gone from Lacanto to Inverness. And I put, Maggie, I am in Donellan up Highway 41 from Hernando. Could we meet at Chicken King, you know, which is the famous restaurant in downtown Hernando? She, uh, she sends me back a message. Yes, that will work. Yes, that will work. It is about 15 minutes. And I messaged her back one more time. See you there. If there is any problem, my phone number is the second time. I leave her my cell phone number. I get in my truck and I drive to Chicken King. Okay, guys. This is just me. Uh, when, when somebody, when, when you suggest a place to meet and somebody messages you back, that will be fine. And you message them, see you there. And for the second time, leave your phone number if there's a problem. Did I or did I not have a communication with Maggie that I would meet her at Chicken King in 15 minutes? Uh, so I get in my truck, I head to Chicken King. It took me 14 minutes to get there. Pull into Chicken King and there I sit for 30 minutes. There I sit for 30 minutes waiting for Maggie to show up with or without the mattress, uh, wondering is, 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 is and thinking, you know, what is this all about? Because if she's not bringing the mattress, I am supposed to follow her back to her house, probably her trailer, so she and I can unload the fucking mattress and, and put it on my truck so I can bring it back. So I I any way this happens, unless she is bringing me the fucking, uh, I keep calling it a mattress, the bed, I have the mattress. Unless she's bringing me the bed, I'm still going to have to, I said, so, so if she thinks I'm a fucking rapist or a serial killer, that that's going to kill, rape and kill her and her family and her dog and her cat and her goldfish uh, and burn her fucking trailer down. Well, clearly I'm going to be following her back. I, I, anyway, 30 fucking minutes, no sign of Maggie, no fucking telephone number, no telephone call from her. So I drive back uh, to the trailer and find this message waiting for me. Are you leaving now? Okay. Let's see. Hambone, could we meet at Chicken King? Maggie, yes, that will work. It is about 15 minutes. Hambone, see you there. My phone number is blankety blank. If there is any problem, Maggie, are you leaving now? So, I got, uh, so Maggie gets this message from me. Maggie, I just wasted an hour of my day, not to mention the gas money. 
if you would like to call me and give me an address and a time to come get the bed, I would be happy to do that. Thank you. I gave it one hour. I guess that means you have found someone else. Goodbye. And of course, I got to uh, rate Maggie. I got to rate Maggie. And uh, I, I, I absolutely loved uh, rating Maggie uh, <laughs> on her. Uh, they didn't have zero stars. So uh, she got. Uh, how was your experience with Maggie? Yes. What could be improved? <laughs> what could be improved with your experience with Maggie? She gets a one star, a, a very poor rating. I checked communication and on time meetup. And we're going to submit the one star rating. So uh, Maggie now has a one star rating on communication and meetup. Obviously, I will never be uh, sharing a bed with Maggie. <coughs> so anyway, uh, you know, it, it, this reminded me of a, uh, I, I remember this was back when, when I was, uh, was it California or Oregon? I, I can't even remember. Years ago, years ago, when we had a washer and dryer and I was married in So this must have been Oregon. This must, this must have been in Eugene, Oregon. Okay, 99% sure this was in Eugene, Oregon. At the fucking laundromat, doing my laundry, and it was after dark, and I <clears throat> meet this woman at the laundromat. She's doing her laundry. I, I, I had absolutely zero interest in this woman. You know, I, I'm, I'm talking about physically, sexually, romantically. She was just this, you know, just this, I, 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 I had absolutely zero interest in, in uh, we, we were just talking, uh, waiting for our fucking laundry, and somehow it came up in conversation that she had some sort of item that she was trying to get rid of and that I was looking for. I can't even remember what it was. Something for my little organic farm, probably. So I, somehow it came up that I was looking for some item and she had it at her house. This was before cell phones. So we finished it. She goes, I tell you what. She goes, just follow me home. Just, wait a minute, no, I'm sorry, no, it was not the laundromat, it was not the laundromat, it was Home Depot, that's right, we're, we're, we're at the fucking Home Depot in Eugene, Oregon, now it's all coming together to me, and, and I was, we were looking for something in the same area, we got to talking, neither one of us could find what the fuck it was we were looking for at Home Depot. That's right. And uh, so we're kind of laughing about wasting our time. And, and, and so I told her what it was that I was looking for. And she said, like, you won't believe this. I've got one of those very things in my house. And I said, oh, really? Uh, she goes, I tell you what, just follow me home. Follow me home, and you can have the thing. I, I, I said, you're just going to give me whatever this fucking thing was. I can't even remember wh wh what it was. Uh, this was 20 fucking years ago, 30 fucking years ago, probably. So she gets in her car. Remember, there's no cell phone. We have no communication. She gets in her car, and uh, and so how did this work if there were no cell phones? How did this story play out? I 
Now there is something that's confusing about this. You know, the, the old memory banks, uh, how the fuck did she do this? This would have been somewhere in the early 90s. Maybe it was the early days of cell phones. I didn't have a cell phone. I know I'm 100%. I did not have a cell I didn't get a fucking cell phone. Uh, and, and, uh, and, and, and until I moved to Austin, Texas. But I guess she had one of these newfangled things called a cell phone. I mean, it had to have been. So anyway, but I didn't have a... We, we couldn't communicate. So she gets in her fucking car. I get in, in my truck behind her. And... Okay, how did this work? Anyway, uh, I, I, she had to have had a cell phone. There, there's no other way to explain this. Uh, so I guess there were cell phones by this time, by 1995 or whatever. So anyway, I get in my fucking car and start following her back home. All right, and so... We get to her house, and we pull in the driveway, and she is sitting in her car. So she pulls in her driveway. I pull in behind her, you know, to get this item that she was giving me, and she just won't get out of her fucking car, and I don't know what she's doing in there. And what she was doing, obviously, I guess she was on the she was on the phone. That's obviously what she was doing in there. And so I don't. So she's sitting in the car. She's sitting in the car. I'm sitting in the car. Uh, she's not getting out of the car. I, I'm waiting for her to get out of the fucking car before I get out of the truck. And then what happens is a fucking cop car pulls in behind me and blocks me between her car and his car. So I am now blocked in, in her fucking driveway uh, between her car and the fucking cop car. And, and, and I'm going, what in the fuck is, is going on here? And, and the goddamn cop, motherfucker. All right, I guess why I didn't kill my computer, I have killed a computer doing that. So the the fucking cop gets out of her car. The woman still won't get out of her car. He comes and knocks on my window, tells me to roll the window down, and, and is like, sir, you know, like, like, what the fuck do you think you're doing? And I'm going, what are you talking about? Uh, I said, I just met this woman at fucking Home Depot. And she told me to follow her home uh, to get this, whatever it was. And, and he's like looking at me like, she told you to follow her home. And I said, yeah. Uh, I said, that's why I'm here. I followed her home uh, on her uh, invitation and instruction. And he goes, oh, really? And he, uh, and then he, he, he walks over, he walks down to her car and knocks on her window, and, and I couldn't hear what they're saying, and, and, and he's down there uh, with the woman for a couple of minutes, and he comes back to me, you know, like, like man to man, and, and he's shaking his fucking head, and, and, he, and he says, dude, he goes, let's just do everybody a favor here. J just get the hell out of here and pretend like you never met this crazy woman. And, and, he, and he backs up out of the driveway and he motions me. And, and I leave and uh, I wave to the woman. She still hasn't gotten out of her fucking car. And, uh, and I drive up and the fucking cop follows me all the way back out to the highway. Uh, good fucking God, I'm sure taking down my, uh, it, you know, this was like 30 fucking years ago, uh, guys, so anyway, 
that's how I started my day and uh, on Facebook Marketplace and after wasting half my fucking day uh, with this crazy bitch named Maggie, I, uh, I come back here and uh, start doom scrolling in medium.com and find this story from a woman named Livia Dabs. Embracing the Inevitable, a European and American perspective on doomsday preppers. Uh, <clears throat> after watching the movie World We Leave Behind, you know, that was that movie with Julia Roberts, who is Maggie's uh, identical twin, on Netflix, I began to wonder why I never hear about preppers for doomsday in Spain. This thought prompted me to do some research. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I got some of the answers from Quora. So she's quoting this thing from Quora. It's an article from Quora. The U.S. has a fear culture. Politicians, the gun lobby, conservative preachers, commercial news stations, the film industry, and right-wing think tanks all promote fear. Fear sells. Many Americans view the world as a place that can turn into total mayhem in an instant. When that happens, they want to be prepared. Dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> As someone who has lived in both the U.S. and Spain, I would like to share my observations. The main difference I have noticed are in societal and cultural norms. <clears throat> I believe that fear is a constant presence in the U.S. When I became a mother in the U.S., I was bombarded with safety precautions and fears for my child's well-being, every aspect of parenting seemed to come with its own set of anxieties, from how my baby sleeps to what type of stroller we use, even the toys she plays with. And just one example, when my daughter drank raw goat's milk in her first year, our pediatrician warned me that she could die. I reassured her that I pasteurized the milk, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> My daughter never had any major health issues and continued to grow normally. In America, fear seems to be lurking around every corner, whether it's the possibility of someone shooting at you suddenly losing your job for no reason, not having enough money to make ends meet. The list could go on and on, and I would add on and on and on and on and on. Uh, it, it, it just, you know, what a fucking way to live when you can't fucking advertise a, 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 a goddamn free bed on, on, on fucking Facebook marketplace because you think some fucking axe murderer, rapist, serial killer, child molester, uh, whatever, is, is going through the free pages uh, of Facebook marketplace uh, looking for goddamn victims. I'm gonna, I'm gonna vet your, I'm gonna vet your Facebook profile. I'm gonna meet you at, at the Walmart parking lot, in a public parking place. I'm, I'm gonna scan you with my superwoman uh, vision and, uh, and figure out uh, whether you're, you're a fucking axe murderer. Uh, before I let you follow me home to, to give you a fucking free bed. I, I, I just get so fucking sick and tired of it. This goddamn fear.
uh, just analyzing everything into a fucking uh, unbelievable uh, that, that 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 any women uh, advertise uh, on fucking pile of fish. You know, there's some article in the mainstream media. I don't know which one it was. Whether it was pile of fish, you, you, you know, where some woman meets some guy uh, on, on pile of fish. And they go off on a date, on a hike, and of course, what does he do? He fucking rapes her. <sighs> uh, Jesus. Yes, little log. I, 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 I just get so fucking sick and tired uh, 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 of these little fear strangled fucking sheeple. Uh, you know, hour out of my fucking day wasted today on this fucking bitch. <sighs> anyway, I gotta wrap this up, and uh, we gotta go put some. We gotta go put some double padlocks on all our on all our doors. We gotta go lock the fucking gate. We're gonna go shopping for a pit bull tomorrow, Sancho Panza. Fear or love, your choice. I was talking to a friend in Austin today. Uh, I was gonna go to this this New Year's Eve jam at blah blah blah's house and uh, and something told me at the last minute not to go and now everybody who was everybody who was at that picking party Hammond has come down with corona panic I'm just scared to go anywhere now I'm just I, I'm just scared to, to go out and, and, and see my friends Oh, fuck! Get over your fucking self. Bye, guys. This little dog, you need to go get the bear lined up. Is it a bear? Is there a bear out there? You gonna get? Are you gonna get that bear or not? I remember Sancho Panza attacking that 300-pound bear <laughs> up there at my sister's in Vermont. Uh, well, Aaron, if you're watching this, you will be humored to know that uh, the new outlet uh, idea, I, uh, I plugged in the air fryer and it blew out the outlet and it blew out the microwave, but it seems like it can handle the electric coffee kettle and the toaster and the crock pot. So I've moved those items over here and we have the air fryer and the microwave over here. <laughs> Trailer living. All right, I'm off to, uh, I don't know, to put punji sticks around my gator. Don't let the sharks bite, my guys.